of Prince New York. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And if you guys have not already uh, subscribed to this channel, please click the link below. And I will try to create a video on Canva every single week so you guys can see the new updates in Canva, new tips in Canva, and stuff that you might not know that you can do with Canva. Alright, so with this um, video, I'm going to show you guys how to create letter frames or letter grids. You guys might not know what that is, but let's jump right into it so you guys can see what it is. Alright, so let's go to create a design. You can click on anything, pretty much presentation. Well, not well, not presentation, but we'll just go to US letter document. So we're going to open that up. And here we go. All right, so now the letter frames is this. Let me show you. You would go to elements. You would go to frames. See all. And let's go all the way down. So the letter frames is these. This is what I mean when I say letter frame. Okay, so you would just choose these to spell out a word. So let's spell out, um, let's do smile. All right, let's make it smaller. So that's S. All right, let's choose M. Smile. Smile. All right, let's make that all even. Smile, hope you guys are having a very good day today. Right, and I'm located in New York, and today is freezing. All right, let's make this small. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. We can make this bigger or smaller. It all depends. So now you have the word smile. So now let's fill it up with color, which is so cool that you can do that. And there's different ways that you can do it. Um, let's go to photos. You can use photos. So pretty much you can put anything in the background, right? Let's see if we were going to take um, gradients. Let's see if we can find them background so you can take a landscape so let's see we fill it up oh that just changed it back that's not what I was looking for but let's do all right gradients are cool to use right so let's see if we were gonna do this Why isn't it working for me? Why isn't it working for me? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know why it's not working today. Hmm, that's strange because I did this before and it was working with the gradients. All right, gradients does not want to work for us, guys. So, let's see if we can choose this one. Oh, why is this not working? This is not working for us. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Right. This is really not working here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we're going to do... Okay. Let's type in flowers. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Let's type in flowers. Because this, for some reason, is acting strange, guys. Alright. So you see how that goes all right so this is what I'm talking when I say the frames this is what it's supposed to do but for some reason it was not working with the other one so if you want you can create the same effect with all of them okay with the eye so all you have to do is just hover over the letter 
Mm -hmm. Voila, smile. So it's that simple to do. And now, let's see, because I'm shocked that it will not take the, the, the colors. All right, so let's pick some more frames so we can work with. Okay, so that's smile. So let's do you. Why? Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And you. Smile, you. All right. Okay. So now, like I said, you can choose whichever you can do photos, you can do elements or backgrounds. But I don't know why the gradients was not working for us, which is very strange. Um, I really don't know why it was not working. Okay, let's see if we can choose this. Nope, it's still doing the same thing. Hmm. Well. Guys, here's another thing that you can do as well. You can actually go fill it up with glitter, which is so cool. You can just go to, let's say we go to Google, right? And let's say we need gold, like a gold background. Gold glitter background, or you can choose whichever background, okay? So let's say we choose, let's say we choose this one. All right, so we can just drag it on our desktop and go back to Canva and we can go to upload. So now we're going to upload the media and go to device and it's going to open up. Let's see if we see recent. Mm -hmm. There we go, right here. We're going to choose to upload. Okay. And here we are. So, all you have to do is the same thing over, over. Isn't that beautiful? Do it again. Over, over until it fills it and there you go so pretty much that's how you would do you would fill in letter frames in Canva so let's say we can do it with the numbers as well we can go back we can take numbers let's do 35 okay Drag that. Or if you want to, well, we can add another page and we can do it a very big one. You see? We can do it a big one. And then the five, like that. And you can change up the background of this. I don't know what we're going to choose, but let's say we choose our pink background, make it pop out. And then, so now, let's go to, we can either put flowers in here. No, we did the flowers right, we did the glitter. Um we can let's see how are we going to hmm. I really wanted to try the gradients because I used this before and it worked guys. I'm not sure why it's not working now. Alright, let's see. Let's try it one more time. Nope, that's just going to change the background. I really don't know why this is not working. Because I love using the gradients. Nope. See, it's not. When I hover over, it's not working. Alright. Hmm. Let's try this texture. Well, actually, you know what? Let's try this flower here and see if that's going to work. Nope. It doesn't work either, guys. I'm not sure why that's not working. But anyway, anywho, you guys get the points. Um, so 
So whatever you want to put, oh, this is not working either. I don't know if it's my Canva or if Canva is having an issue because this is awfully strange. Because normally it works and I did it before and it works, but it's not working now. So, oh, okay. Okay, so now we can change this background, obviously. Let's change it to. Okay, I guess that. Mm -hmm. And now, so this can be a different file. So, guys, this clearly doesn't match, but I just want to show you how it's done. Um, well, this doesn't look nice in there. So, let's remove this. You can remove it by clicking here, and you do delete image. I actually don't know what file would go with this. <clears> hmm. <throat> But once again, you get the point. You get the point. So this is how you would do letter frames in Canva. So you can upload your own picture. Let's delete this. So you can upload your own pictures and put it in the frame. Same thing we did with this gold background. You can just use images in Canva as well if you want to do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, this video. This video was to show you how to do letter frames slash grids in Canva. Two options. You can either use the pictures that's already in Canva, which the gradients, I know they work, because like I said, I did it before and it worked, but for some reason for this video, it was not working. Or you can upload your own picture, which clearly I did here, and you can just use any picture, any background, and you can just put it in there. Um, and that's it, guys. So thank you very much for tuning into this video, and if you did not already, please subscribe down below, and I'll be dropping a new video every week to show you tips and what to use Canva for, how to use Canva, shortcuts in Canva, all that good stuff in Canva. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning into this video today. And guys, have a blessed and awesome day. All right, make today count. Ciao for now.